Hey there, welcome to Michael On The Go, and I am your host, Michael Gennady. Providing for external chat in Microsoft Teams while securing team and internal assets. So, uh, the other day, I had a conversation with a customer, and you know, oftentimes when we're talking Microsoft Teams, all this collaboration, you have the, sometimes that, it's that tension between IT and the business groups where the business is saying, look, this stuff is great. We're collaborating. We're doing all this, but you know what? You got it shut down and I can't talk to my external partners, vendors, customers, etc. I can't chat with them. I can't, you know, um, have voice video, etc. all that stuff. The stuff that in the past they might've done with Skype for business, right? And that they're used to doing. And they're saying, look, you know, you've taken stuff from me. Um, so, you know, one of the things that there seems to be some confusion with in some orgs is the fact that they, you know, because when you go into the settings for external guest access, right, through the Microsoft console, through doing things with PowerShell, it's really an all or nothing kind of proposition. There's certainly tools out there like Avpoint and others that provide for that. There are ways that you can set up you know, and I've done, we had videos with the MTC uh, around that, how you can do things at a by team level. But for the most part, in most organizations, it's an all or nothing proposition, guest access or not. But that is different than those Skype specific functions. So for example, I can still say no guest access, not allow people to come into the team, um, from the external, you know, until we get our heads wrapped around everything uh, and have access to docs, et cetera, and worry about, you know, is uh, PII information going to get out there? I can still shut all that down. And at the same time, I can allow people to communicate and chat, and I can even federate those communications so people can discover me, we can uh, see each other, pop. I have, I'll, I'll, I'll use them as an example. So, Ducks Raymond Sigh. Boom, the man, the myth, the legend. He's not a myth, but he is a legend. Uh, but Ducks, if you're familiar with Teams and Office 365, he's all over the circuit, doing the big conferences, etc. A very dynamic guy. Well, we're federated. We can see each other, we can ping each other, we can chat and all that. But that doesn't mean that, now uh, we do allow for guest access, but Microsoft can still have that off. So. You know, as you're looking at, there's different controls. I'll put some links in the full post below off of our aka.ms slash HLS blog. So if you're coming through YouTube, go to the, the actual site, right, to access and take a look at the post. But you can turn on and allow, and you can do federated chat, all that voice video stuff, invite people to meetings, external, converse with them, do all that kind of goodness, right? all they need is a browser to join the meeting you can do all that goodness and still not allow for guest access while you're getting your head around securing the documents using things like DLP etc so some food for thought don't shut everything down on users provide for them a way to still collaborate and communicate internally and externally while you work out your processes, procedures, policies, whatever. I'm choking on a, uh, my breakfast bar I've been eating on the way to the MTC. But you know, you get all that under control, but still allow people to communicate internally and externally. Two different pieces, don't be confused. Take a look, I'm gonna provide documentation below, so be sure to take a look at that, get it set up. And hey, if you're a Microsoft customer, I'm just gonna say it, one of the best ways to get your feet around all this, federate with us. Do some of that with us first. Start communicating, collaborating, right? And once you've done that, you know, then you can start to open it up. But at any rate, this is Mike Gennady, bidding you have a great day, saying chat away, but secure the data. Have a great day, take care, and as always, ciao.